Welcome back. <clears throat> we had a lunch break. Uh, well, I had a lunch break. I hope you guys got something to eat. I've also set up the stream alerts. So uh, in the last conversation, occasionally I'm not great at changing my camera angles or, you know, because I've got full screen of my display and all that kind of stuff. And I wasn't great at flipping it back. So what I've now set up is, and I've risk, uh, it's, I've taken a risk. One of the stream alerts is free. Uh, and I've done a few different stream alerts as well. There's some fun ones in there so you can cheer or boo or whatever if you, you know, like what's going on. But there is now a stream alert that's free uh, and basically press it if you, if I'm not switching back to, say, the computer screen cam. Um, so, yeah, they're on the side there. It's just that purple um, sound logo thing so feel free to give it a test if you want i'm not even sure it'll work but there are some there that you pay bits for so i we'll see how we go i may um end up making you pay for them all just because i don't want people to just be pressing the the alert but for now i will trust you all and we'll just see how we go so feel free to give that a try um everyone on twitch please say good day let me know you're here uh we're going to be moving on to a podcast we've got two actually from uh, Apricot Consulting that uh, they're appropriate to what's happening with the virus, with coronavirus. Uh, and so they want to get them out pretty quickly and we would like to get them sorted for them. So we're going to quickly edit those for this session. So we're moving away from filth for um, probably the next maybe two hours or something. We'll see how we go. But I'd love you to say good day. Join the conversation uh, and you guys on Instagram. See ya. We're at twitch.tv forward slash noisy post. Come and join the conversation. But for now, you can come and hang out and get a behind the scenes view, a literal behind the scenes. Come and join us. Uh, sweet. So, uh, yeah, feel free to use that um, sound alert. Give me a, let me know that it's working um, if anyone's on there. But we are going to move to our apricot podcast. Actually, um, if you've got any extra thoughts, ideas for uh, sound alerts and stuff, please let me know in the Discord uh, or even just on chat here because I, I even just then I was thinking I need to put in some sort of like can cracking and a glug sound or something so that, you know, you can inform me to take a, take a sip because I'll be honest, I'm shocking it. Um drinking so we've just got to i'll just check the email here what we got mail uh part one and then there's part two okay so i'm assuming that's well labeled there's a part three what's going on there You know what? We're just going to chuck all our files in. I'm just going to whack them down here. We can just do a quick, quick search. I just got to double check that you're hearing stuff as well. Just Where we've now got now. offices around the world. Um, we've focused always in. Cool. So you can hear that. Might be pretty loud. Quickly alter the volume on this stream. Just gonna back off the fader. Okay. Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. 
revealing conversations with execs designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organisations. We look to help organisations live their purpose, strengthen connections and deliver business impact. On this podcast, we're joined by founder and CEO Derek Linsell. Have we got some clipping Derek that we're going to have to fix? CEO for 18 That's years. All good. Today, we discuss the important topic of engagement. A buzzword today, and particularly now with the global realities of the coronavirus. Welcome, Derek. Okay, James. How are you doing? Very well. All right. Uh, what's this one? Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. Revealing conversations with executives designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organizations. We look to help yeah, organizations nice. live their purpose, oh, strengthen connections, where's my screen? and deliver business. Ah, thank you, Corey, for the subscribe. That's huge. Killing it, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support and your guidance on all things stream. Hey, we're hearing voices, Especially guys. In light of COVID-19, this topic is perhaps more relevant. Uh, Chief Operating Officer. Today we are talking about adopting a new operating model. Especially in light of COVID-19, this topic is perhaps more relevant than ever. Welcome, James. Well, I've actually got a feeling we... Okay. So, yes, we... Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. I think what's happened is we Revealing conversations with execs. Oh. What's happened is we have got, I think the one from last week is in there as well, possibly. Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams yeah, okay, sweet. Got Consulting. So this first one, that was in the Dropbox, so in, in their delivery folder, so we don't need that. We just need to find out, so who's... Uh, okay, so we're starting with... Uh, so James is the second one. So Avril is our first, I assume. It is. Okay, so part so one. It's yeah. an article sharing Apricot's operating principles. So you... Uh, okay, so that's... Yeah, 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 this is easy. All right, so part one. And then we got part two and part three. So we're going to chuck those up. Excuse me. This is part two of James's. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate... So we'll slap that in later. We've got a that might be his closing. I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll worry about that later because we'll just get this first one done. Okay, so we can just use clip gain. You can see here that the mics aren't loud enough. Possibly even that that first section was quiet in the rest as well. So, and he's quite loud in the opener here, so we could back him down a little bit or possibly bring these other ones up a little bit. Bit of clip gain, never hurt anyone. Sweet. If you're listening in or on the stream, please say good day. Chuck us a. Chuck us a, a follow by pressing the heart. So what we've got here is we've just got the same intro and outro that for each episode that we just whack that in anywhere. And then we want to find our point where we get the dialogue to start straight up. Though. Welcome to you'll hear it's lovely the dulcet tones of Benny and Up. Of experts to unearth the principles of personal and team leadership. For more information, go to apricotconsulting.us. Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting, revealing conversations with executives designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organizations. Well, what we'll also do is, oh, you can see insights up the top there. So you'll get a nice, uh, you'll be able to see my metering, uh, see the like loudness metering as well. Welcome to in So I'm just going to quickly check what the notes were. So uh, cut last 30 seconds of part one. The last eight seconds before the any practice practical ideas question. Okay.
Okay, let's give it a crack on that. So the last 30 seconds, so we're just going to use, whoop, and we just look at the top there. You can see last 30 seconds will be, okay, so we're probably got. So if I'm a, you know, if I'm a business question. leader right now, I'm, I'm going, absolutely, we need to change. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Um, but I want to know, where are you focusing your efforts right now? So you uh, recently wrote an article sharing apricots operating. So I'm assuming we don't want that last question. You said 30 seconds, but let's, yeah, he probably wasn't being very specific. So we just want to cut those two together. So if we go shuffle, shuffle up the top, that basically deletes everything in between. The time to support people through a normal change process. Yeah. So you, so you, people through a normal change process. So you uh, recently wrote. Oh, I'm going to turn the auto scroll off. Let's just say no scroll. So you uh, recently wrote an article sharing. A I think you said what was the last eight seconds or something. Digital remote working. So I'm assuming it. How you can question. do that. Yep. Any, any ideas? Practical ideas? And your uh, last principle. Uh, My last principle, I think I touched on this uh, earlier, but assuming uh, any practical ideas, let's go back and look. Yeah, cool. That's easy, easy you cuts. And your uh, last principle. Uh, My last principle, I think I touched on this um, a little bit earlier, but it's really about building the capabilities for people to change. Um, so there's the technical skills. So. Bring you know, this the ability to, to use uh, video conferencing or to be able to work remotely. Thank you also to our listeners for joining so us. So we're going to actually listen through just to make sure there's no bad mistakes or anything. But, yeah. Boop gain is the wrong, in the wrong hands hurts millions <laughs> of years. Oh, yeah, yeah. The chat looks cool, man. Oh, the chat on the screen, is that what you mean, Corey? Because, yeah, it's going to save me a bit. I do still kind of read the questions out every once in a while, especially if it's, like, been there for a while or whatever and I might respond to it. Um, but I appreciate that. It's nice having it on there. I might work on I might work on making it even prettier later. Um, we probably need a bit more screen for that, but that's all good. All right, so, excuse me. Uh, just give me a tick. Here we go. All right, so Great. we just need to find uh, fascinating and very timely insights from you today, Avril. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you also to our listeners. What we can do is delete on inside healthy kind of teams. So we want to. It's nice to get that little healthy teams. Thanks for listening to Inside Healthy. That nice little vocal thing. Healthy teams. Thanks for listening to Inside. There you go. So we'll how are you supporting your team? Yeah. Great. Some uh, fascinating and very timely insights from you today, Avril. Thank you. Thank you. From you today, Avril. Thank you. Thank you. Just got some poppy bumps and stuff. We'll get rid of those. This is a quick and nasty job. Not really. Uh, we're going to listen through, but we also, so we're just going to do some quick corrections. Quick correction, then we'll work our way through it. We're talking about welcome. Thank you, James. So we're obviously Tell us a little bit about yourself. We're going to get bleed from her. Well, mic. My career started in human resource management, uh, working in the professional services industry. So I guess I, I naturally started my career supporting organic change. So in a human resource department, how do we support employees? Um, through the evolution of change in, in various different different senses. So I worked in the professional services industry for about seven years and I actually decided to go into change management consulting. 
So looking at from a digital transformation perspective and the evolution of the digital world, how we how we support people through that and then help them adopt digital technology. So we're just using this is final mix, which is in education, just an EQ a and multi band. And again, from a digital Impressor. technology perspective, but also now they use the same mics every time, but that doesn't mean we don't have to change our change EQ. It will obviously depend people, on the person's uh, voice to adopt the new way of working. Yeah, well, and if you hold option down, you can, can be more relevant. That skill can, can listen be more relevant to the EQ uh, frequency, so we can that is going on in uh, the world around us today. So we can work out um, what frequencies exactly. Or listen. And yeah. I and I guess I never sweep if something doesn't. Uh, probably sound thought nice. I would end up in a department that was in human resources, supporting people through change and and overall people management. Mm. So it's fantastic to see other. So we got a little bit of cleaning just to get rid of like some of the reverb and stuff. Um, in a non HR department um, to support people through change. So recently I've actually probably sat in IT departments uh, and been. <laughs> That's the vintage on ones. People areas. Yeah, well. Um, um, so, I mean, this might have been. You're making a joke. From last week. Final Mix was month, brought out by Arx a uh, little while ago, you but you can't buy it anymore. They just put it in Neutron now. Limit. So it, it was. It's basically now it's Neutron. Um, but this was a good, just kind of like, it's got a good hard, like you just put a hard limiter, you can do some basic EQ or whatever. But I, I, it's an, this is an older project. Um, but these days I'm either using Neutron or I don't have the fab filter with the dynamic EQ. So um, I'm using uh, Neutron because it's got a great, it's the same thing really. So Avril, welcome. Thank you, James. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my career started in human resource management, uh, working in the professional services industry. So I guess I, I naturally started my career supporting organic change. So in a human resource department, how do we support employees um, through the evolution of change whistle. in various different, different senses? So I worked in the professional services industry for about seven years and... I actually decided to go. So we're using um, management consulting, vocal so writer as well, just to kind of keep it a little bit more leveled out. And with the evolution podcast, of the you're world, thinking most people are going to be listening we, in their car or on trains, and they're going to want to be able to hear it all. So adopt digital technology. Um, you don't want much dynamic um, range when it comes to a podcast. In education, and I've worked in retail, and again from a might digital as well get rid of his audio just so there's nothing but also else coming through. General behavior change and, and how we can. Uh, change the behaviors of people uh, to adopt the new way of working. Yeah, well, and uh, that couldn't be more relevant. That skill set couldn't be more relevant so basic, uh, given her, everything that is going that on in uh, the world around us today. Um, exactly. And, yeah. I, and I guess I never uh, probably thought I would end up in a department that was in human resources supporting people through change and, and overall around us today. Um, it exactly. And I, and I guess I never uh, probably thought I would end up in a department that was in human resources supporting. You can just use a little bit of kick gain. We can sit here with our, overall our fader and mix it as well. But I'm just like, other I can see what's coming ahead and I just like fix it accordingly sometimes. Like, you, know, um, you can just tell that something needs a bit of a boost. You could just do a little um, boost here. While you're listening, but you can do the same thing with a fader. So it doesn't really I've matter. Actually, probably sat in you got one or not. IT departments. Uh, I found I find Neutron so Stream makes my entire screen yeah. graphics lag so bad. The original Neutron doesn't have any issue. Uh, I think I've got two. I don't think I've got three. Um. Yeah, maybe Please. that could be a thing. Yeah. Well. Um. So I'm not sure. Um, exactly. Have you checked out Isotope D Bleed? It blew my mind My uh, for my podcast editing. It works on the cocktail party algorithm and does a mental job of this for super speed. Uh, I haven't. Is that is that on the latest? What have I got? What have we got here? D Bleed. Is it what version of Isotope does it come in? Noise reduction. Is it on seven? Am 
Or do you run it over your whole audio? It's in it's in RX seven. Do I have to send it to RX, do I? Must be moving around the mic a bit. Sometimes she has hard plosives and and some parts she sounds clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the road those new road mics. They're not great. Um, for pop rejection and stuff. Um, is it where's D bleed? Do I have to send it to Isotope? Be kind of annoying. I oh, see. So do you have to send both to RX? Oh, sorry, I don't have a remote on this one. I don't know why I haven't set that up. So we will add in. RX monitor, so it's going to be, oh, that's an audio. No, it was a sweet. We're going to send that to, of course, I don't have my, oh, I'll just send it to master. It's fine. We're going to make it solo safe by clicking command and S or solo. And we can now, oh, we've got to add RX monitor to the top. hide that send one as reference then bleed as the other okay so do i okay so i can select well my career started He's in human resource management ah! uh, working in the professional services industry stop stop, stop. so oh, i guess I, I naturally started my career supporting organic change so in a it. human resource department, how do we support employees? Okay, so I'm going to assume I select both channels here. Is that right? And then I will go send it. It's weird. That, okay, deep lead. So why do they not? Why do they not? Oh, okay, so no, you got to send separate files. Gotcha. So I need them as separate files. So let's just select this amount of space, like here. I'm going to send that. We're going to go, can we change the name of that? No, we can't. All right, doesn't matter. We're going to go down and we're going to go send that. Ah, oh, how do we? Why can't I go? What do I just save it as something else? Whatever, let's call it two. All right, send that. There we go. So we want to go bleed would be wave two. We learn profile. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm learning something. I'm learning something. All right, let's do that. Let's just close this down. We're going to start again. So get rid of you dudes. Okay, so we're going to go... We want to repair this one. Let's line it up with this. Okay, we'll use that one. We're going to send him to get fixed. And we're going to go up and we're going to make that a reference. Is that right? And then we send it. Okay, that's right. So then we want to go you. And we're going to go reference. We're going to learn. Oh, look at this. You learn something new every day. 
Correcto. Nice. <laughs> Clearly, I've used... Uh, how long is it? Reference a lot, haven't I? Just chatting to my Insta homies while uh, we wait. Uh, it's pretty time consuming for the initial pass on a long thing, but it's great once it's done. Plus, you give yourself more coffee breaks. That's true, but I don't have any more coffee. Uh, um, clients don't give the time to use the reference option, lol. I just have to repair and push on. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, does someone want to try out the camera? So did you see there's the sound? Um, did someone click on the, can someone click on the sound effect purple logo thing? It's a little thing on the side and play the sound for me. Do I have to do it myself? Fine, I'm going to do it myself. Jeez, guys. So I'm not sure what you're viewing it on, but do you have the... We can hear you. What? I didn't play it properly. Damn it. How would that edit go dodge? Maybe I undid it properly. I didn't do it properly. Ugh. Can someone do it again? It was, it's the um, sound effects says, said, we can see you. And I tried to edit it and I thought I had done all right to say, um, we instead of can't. It can we can see you. Uh, no. I must have undone something and then. Bounce the wrong one. That didn't work out well. So the idea is it was meant to say, we can't see you so that I can put it on the basically correct the thing. I've got an air horn and stuff there. Those ones I've, I've made to pay, but maybe I'll fix those because an air, corn, air horn would be cool. Yeah, you can't spam as in it. It's only got a 15 second, um, I can change it, but it's a 15 second cooling period. So you can't do it all the time. All right. So I've learned the reference. Let's preview it. Uh, in fact. Welcome to Inside here. Healthy Tech. Mm. So mm. Have I done something wrong, guys? I feel like I have. We're all learning here together. Yeah, well, um, so, I mean, this might have been a change from last week or last month, but uh, what are you finding in terms of the industry at the moment? Oh, is that because I was listening to the wrong one? Oh, so that's the reference. Of and what the future looks like for There's me. a buzz in that. I'll have to fix that too. And with all the panic buying going on, I mean. So for me, the... If I preview, it should be. So for me at the moment, I guess I'm taking that holistic helicopter view of, of what's happening in the industry. Um, obviously. 
triggers a significant amount of change happening. Oh, did it not take in the bleed source? I'll set it up and make a video to show you how to use it if you'd like. You know what? Maybe that's a better idea. Oh, so I need to, sorry, I've got to learn. But I did learn select bleed source. That's it there. An active source. Bleed source, active source. Or do I have to select the whole lot or something? And then go something like that, maybe. Learn. Because that doesn't look right there. All right, if this doesn't work, show me your magic. Send us a video. Um, all right, I'm going to get... So, do you guys have a better idea? Or can you make me a cool sound? Because you guys could send it to Discord. So, make me a sound for... Um, I've got an air horn there and stuff. Nah, mate, it's all good. We're all here to learn. Um... I want to learn a new technique. So this is awesome that you show me something different. Hopefully it works this time. But anyway, um, is there any other cool sounds and stuff that you'd want to hear or like just to get my attention? Cause I did make, maybe I could quickly, let's just, um, I've got to work out how to do, give me a second. I'm going to quickly change the sounds around. Cause that we can't see. It doesn't work anyway. Um, Come on. A second, I'm going to quickly change. Oh, sorry about that. Is that. I don't want to hear myself. Shh. Shh. Uh, while this is still doing its thing, I'm just going to change those sound alerts. So let's go. Let's get. We can't see you doesn't work. Let's delete that one. Remove button. Um, all right, I'm going to make this one. There we go. No, that one will be fine enough for this. So I'm just trying to work out which one to. Yeah. All right. So I've just saved the new settings. Hopefully that'll work. So maybe does someone want to check? I've got a new sound. So go and play. There's two two options. They're very similar. Play one and then the other. You have some cool ideas for sounds though. Actually, one other thing I forgot to do. Just turned it up a bit as well, so now it'll be a little bit louder. The other one's just the air horn on its own. So that'll grab my attention. There we go, that too. So you can uh, press that if I need to go over and uh, change camera angles. Um, One thing, uh, yeah, as I said, in the Discord or in the chat, Please write, let me know if there's any funny sounds you want to have in there. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, whether only paid users get bits or whatever, or whether you can send bits, um, whether you get bits for viewing or something. I don't know how it works. Uh, it's all new to me. So, um, yeah, feel free if I'm not looking at the camera or I've set, sorry, not looking at the camera. If I've put the wrong camera angle on, please feel free to use that. All right, now let's see how we go. Preview, let's preview. Why is there only a little bit of the source in there?
Welcome to Inside Health. Okay. Honestly, there's probably a video out there. Uh, if you want to make one for me, Weaver, that'd be great. But uh, that we've just wasted a fair amount of time. I should yeah, have worked out how to use it beforehand. Well, obviously, I didn't know it was there. So, yeah, Weaver, if you want to make a video for me, that'd be awesome. Maybe you could put on the Discord or something. Or even if someone just finds a video that's already on YouTube and just chuck on the Discord for me, that'd be great. And been solely focused on those people areas. Yeah, well, um, so, I mean, this might have been changed from last week or last I'm just going to quickly, yeah, hers. Yeah. And we got all the paint flying going on. I mean, I was just speaking to a colleague recently about has a, to I'm going to just use spectral denoise. There is a bit of a buzz going on in there. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Let's just check the start of the audio because hopefully he'll be quiet as well. Conversations with executives designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organisations. We look to help organisations live their purpose. Need more than that. Seems like it. Nothing's working for me today. What's going on? Um, and so we've got that. Oh, <laughs> oh you twit. Um. Sorry. Well, my career started in human resource management, uh, working in the professional services industry. Well, my career started in human resource management, uh, working in the professional services industry. So I guess I, I naturally started my career supporting organic change. So in a human resource department, how do we support employees um, through the evolution of change in, in various different, different senses? So I worked in the professional services industry for about seven years. And I actually decided to go into change management consulting. So looking at from a digital transformation perspective and the evolution sure of the digital world, going on. How, we, how we support people through that and then help them adopt digital technology. Might check where all those whistles um, are. I've also worked in education and I've worked in retail. Oh, yeah. And again, from a digital technology perspective, but also general behavior change and, and how we can... Uh, change the behaviours of people uh, to adopt the new way of working. Yeah, well, and uh, that couldn't be more relevant than last month. But uh, what are you finding in terms of the industry at the moment? Last month, but uh, what are you finding in last month? But uh, what are you finding in terms of last month? But uh, what are you finding in terms of the industry at the moment? So for me at the moment, I guess I'm taking that holistic helicopter view of, of what's happening in the industry. Um, obviously, there's a significant amount of change happening She's at the moment. She's definitely off the mic compared to him. And like, I, I guess you can I hear the room a lot more in hers. Focused on the digital technology change. Um, so how do we get Zoom working? How do we get teams working for, for staff remotely? But for me, I also think there's a key element that we're not focusing on, which is the people element. So how do we support people to adapt to, the, to this new way of working? So it's not just about using the technology, but also about the social connection um, and not necessarily uh, being there, able eh? to physically connect Might with your colleagues. Out a bit. And then there's other changes also happening. So we obviously have a lot of um, economic instability at the moment, and that's 
probably causing a lot of um, anxiety for people um, and fear on what's to come. So there's this fear on COVID-19, mm. this fear of the economy, this fear is about my job and my, my job and my roles um, and what the future looks like for me. Yeah, yeah. And with all the panic buying going on, I mean, I was just speaking to a colleague recently about trying to get some headsets from our local office works and even those are, are, are going quickly. So we've obviously got to look after the technical side, the operations side, but you, you, you know, mentioning there as well, we've got to we got to be able to get our people ready for that change as well or to help embrace that change culturally. Mm-hmm. And and it's probably be a change that's going to last for some t- be a change that's going to last for some time. Mm. Um, so we need to think about how could, how do we support our employees uh, through a change that so could change last for quite a while. But also, size and then we can we have to adapt very quickly. Big mm. So audio, we have we have uh, to change right now. There's not necessarily the the time to support people through a normal change process. So you uh, recently wrote an article sharing go, go like, Epcot's operating principles oops, for change. Go like 1,200. Tell us a little bit about those principles. So I have operating principles for change that I use um, for all different changes that I, I like can ask holding to advise my, and help bit, with. So I decided to share these as I think they will be particularly helpful process. So you uh, recently wrote an article sharing Apricot's operating principles for change. Can you tell us a little bit about those principles? So I have... Uh, op- mic a fair bit. So, we'll so you uh, bit. recently wrote an article sharing Apricot's operating principles for change. Can you tell us a little bit about those principles? So I have operating principles for change that I use... Um, for all different changes that I've been asked to advise and help with. So I decided to share these as I think they will be particularly helpful um, during the, the magnitude of the change. Oh, sorry, go again. Uh, with the magnitude of change. So I decided to share these as I think they will be particularly helpful um, during the, the magnitude of the change. Oh, sorry, go again. Uh, with the magnitude of changes taking place at the moment, um, that- during the the uh, with the magnitude of changes taking place at the moment, it will be particularly helpful um, during the the uh, with the magnitude of changes. And that will be a sneaky bit too. So we're going to shuffle and make sure we get the top one as well because we've obviously they got. Will be particularly sorry, we've got helpful. the music track at the end, so we just and they're all lined up ready to go. So we just need to make sure we use all do all three. Out. That was actually if we got the podcast on that would be good. Get rid of those, clean that out. They will be particularly helpful uh, with the magnitude of changes taking place at the moment. So I'll take you through those in, in a bit of detail. Seriously, and why are they holding them? Maybe, maybe give you some practical examples of how you around. can apply those in your in your workplace. So the first operating principle that we abide to when we're managing change is inspiring hope and connection. And I guess that's really where the idea of having project or program logos has come from and having vision statements for projects or programs. So you're creating that that hope of what the future state of the change will look like and it's providing that inspiration for people. So in light of the current changes that are happening just gonna, it's looking at what is see, our organizational vision, we'll just check what is stuff, our organizational purpose, we don't want to lose and everything. ensuring that you're connecting employees to your purpose and your vision. So you're creating that hope and, and inspiration and doing that throughout your communication channels. So really creating positivity and, and taking staff away from the amount of negativity um, that it, that is out there globally at the moment. Okay. And, and if I'm turning on the TV, watching the news, which we all are right now, we're all scrolling our social media. Um, and I see, you know, even today, you know, Qantas, 20,000 employees, they've stood down for a period of time. Um, can, can you give me some really practical examples of how 
business leaders can can combat that kind of messaging that's out there right now and inspire that vision, inspire that, um, you know, everything that you're saying there? It's communication and engagement on that vision. So yeah. ensuring that that's at the forefront of not much to talk about in do. this section. It's all um, just we're just you know, listening through start of your checking meetings. For mistakes or it whatever. Could be Go having a bit of click gain or whatever. Stand-ups just to just to connect with everybody. See. Virtual, virtual stand-ups. <laughs> <laughs> virtual stand-ups. Yeah. Um, or remote calls with everybody just to check in how they're going and Sorry, then remind yeah. them that not very this exciting. will end. Um, any questions? Any thoughts? And, and reminding them on that. On they're, that generally, the settings. And I guess the they're different mics every time. But of the change. Uh, sorry, so same there, mics, there different guests. Benefits of sometimes the different hosts. So, for example, so a lot of we organizations do just tweak have a little been bit, trying to move to a digital. We just want to make sure we're sitting about and I guess this is 18 minus 16 everybody for our podcast to, by the end of it. To that model. So the, there are some benefits, and it's remembering to try and connect employees with those. Great, great, makes sense. Um, some other principles you've got there in your toolkit. Tell us. So the next principle is giving people, as I say, a voice and a choice. Um, so this is really creating ownership and accountability for, a snack. for decisions. So it's enabling employees to be involved in the decision making. So there's nothing worse than having something pushed on you and feeling like you don't have that control over mm-hmm. the outcome. Um so it's about involving employees in the process, yeah. giving them a voice in the decision making. And mm-hmm. also they create their own um, outcome. They feel like they have a choice and they're a lot more likely to buy in uh, to that outcome. Yeah, and I think that's particularly important at the moment given that there is so many things going on outside of our control right now. So wherever we can as business leaders to be able to uh, empower our staff to take that ownership. Just remember, so and G, and involved D and G, you got F, which does process, your fades. Uh, you know, is something that we uh, can be doing. All the different right? fades, fades in and out, so cross example, fades. If you just press yes, it James, or if you an example press command F, I it'll take you to your fades window. But if you're just like at this point and you want to do a redundant. fade in, you just press D if you're here so you, you'll and you want to fade out from there, you press G. So again, that's not picking people um, in your organization no, and making them Pro redundant. Ninja tip. You're letting people know the current Hashtag situation. Pro Tools ninja tip. Option. So you're ninja. giving that voluntary anyway. redundancy and that choice. It's obviously not an ideal situation, but people feel like they can they can have some sort of control over the outcome. Mm-hmm. So you might find people who are near retirement or actually were looking to take a break. Yeah. So rather than cloak and dagger, we come along and we pull somebody into a room and, and make them redundant. So people are a lot more likely to process that a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, other principles. I'm, I'm loving this, by the way, and I think it's so relevant, um, you know, for our audience. You know, right right now we're, we're looking at what we can be doing to look after our staff, look after our people, and what you're sharing is, um, is great insight. Keep Just, going. Similar to the principle of giving people a voice and a choice, I think is trust and transparency. So that they go hand in hand. But usually during challenging times of change, people can see the writing on the wall. You know, and that that starts to to generate anxiety. Um, anxiety about what's gonna happen, um, what will the future be? So it's about being open and honest with employees. So if the current outlook is bleak. Be open and honest and transparent with them on that and get their input on how we can solve that problem. So for a lot of uh, small organizations at the moment, they might be thinking, how do we survive in this period? So really be open with employees, involve them. And and by involving them, you actually generate creativity and, and innovation on how we can solve these issues. Yeah, yeah. So is it that we we get employees to go part time? Do we get this is apricot consulting podcast now? Good for um, businesses, or how do we generate on just like good leadership tips and all that kind of yeah. stuff? Yeah, no, so these are obviously relevant to what's happening and with your the next principle virus. And I think my next principle, um, to me, is is common or basic human human decency of understanding what employees are going through at the moment. So that ability to put yourself in in the shoes of somebody else and understand the fears that they might have at the moment. So mm-hmm. everyone will have different challenges, whether it's financial commitments 
or a family to support or they might have a close relative that that may be unwell or their fears that they might they may become very unwell at the moment Mm. so it's it's really empathy and understanding that everyone processes these changes differently and as leaders we really need to step into their shoes listen to them empathize let them know that we're there for them and that we'll we'll get through that change yeah. Um, so there's nothing worse than having somebody f- feeling like you're being judged yeah. Yeah. Um, and having that lack of understanding. And that's not going to help employee engagement and, and help us progress yeah. um, to the future either. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that empathy can be you know, really powerful given, given the circumstances we're all facing. Inspiring hope and connection, giving people a voice and a choice, empathy. What's the next one? Just before I move off the the empathy, probably what I'd add is with the different generations and different workforce demographics, um, typically millennials, as we know, can tend to to be a bit more anxious maybe than previous or other other generations. So for the baby boomers or, or the demographic that might be a little bit older, it may be hard to understand where a millennial is coming from. So Mm. it's really about removing that judgment and trying to understand the different um, methods of operating for the different generations. Yeah, great. Definitely already had Um, jobs. So we've got that empathy, giving people a voice and a choice and inspiring hope and connection. Uh, I love love the next one. I've read on. I've read on here. I love what you're about to say here. Go on. Over communication. Yes, that's right. Okay. Because because we feel like at this time that communication is probably going to be one of our yeah, biggest really challenges. Mike Virtual donk. workforce, social social isolation, social distancing, these are buzzwords that we're hearing over and over in the community, in the media right now. Um, and you're actually saying no, we need to we need to not just maintain communication, we need to ramp up our communication. Mm-hmm. Is that right? So during periods of change, I would always say we over over commun- over communicate. Mm-hmm. Um, so how how often have you heard somebody say, Oh, but I, I, I sent you in that email, did you did you not see that? So mm-hmm. we can't rely on one method or channel of communication and making that assumption that yeah, we're the same in Melbourne. Heard the message. Um, um, so usually, yeah, a bunch of it's parks. Minimum of three times. Like we have a thing called the Thousand Steps. It's just this beautiful really place where people go message. get exercise, and they just like so like a true a thousand steps manager, up the hill, a calm stuff like that. They've just been closing gates, key, and but communication can yeah, be difficult in, in, there. in our normal working environments. But it's when rough. we add in that digital remote, it's working, such a weird time, isn't it? Obviously, it? is more important than ever. So my advice would be to think about how are you touching base with the people in your teams? Um, how are you connecting? everyone in your team and trying to think creatively about how you can do that. And your uh, last principle. Uh, My last principle, I think I touched on this um, a little bit earlier, but it's really about building the capabilities for people to change. Um, So there's the technical skills. So, you know, the ability to to use uh, video, how you can do that. And your uh, last principle. My last principle, I think I touched on this um, a little bit earlier, but it's really about building the capabilities for people to change. Um, So there's the technical skills, so, you know, the ability to to use uh, video conferencing or to be able to work remotely and digitally, but there's also the soft skills. So it's it's increasingly harder for leaders. How do I lead a remote team when that physical connection is removed? So I think it's ensuring that we're looking at the capability uplift from a technical and a soft skill perspective and how we need to support our leaders to be able to do that. Mm. So it could be one-to-one coaching sessions remotely and, and talking through specifically the communication elements um, of, of leading your team, the productivity, um, and really how are you supporting your team. Yeah, great. Some uh, fascinating and very timely insights from you today, Avril. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you also to our listeners for joining us on Inside Healthy Teams. Thanks for listening to In. Oh, smashed. We're just going to get on to the next one and then we'll bounce them both together. Um.
Zach, so are you you obviously just can't work from home, right? Like your studio, you, you can't do your proper mixes in in small rooms or anything like that, right? Like you just literally you'd be shut down. I'm sure like dialogue editors and stuff can probably still work from home. If anything's finished, but you're you're stuffed, right? Obviously, all all sets will be shut down as well, but there's no really no way for you to keep keep cracking on, right? We just don't know how long that's going to be for, too. Which is such a, like it's so scary. Um, our government and even like our government and banks are being pretty good. Like our um our big four banks here in Australia have all put a hold on home loan um home loan payments. Uh, some are three, some six months, uh, or some three, possibly six, and then others six months. Uh, for sole traders like myself and my wife, the government's giving us some money to kind of keep keep going and stuff, which at the moment I'm doing all right, but I've had definitely multiple jobs. Like I've got a few jobs lined up that hopefully I'll be able to stream them as well. But um, after that, other stuff I've had multiple jobs being cancelled. I had a job that was going to be a few months worth of work that's been cancelled, um, you know, which is it's upsetting, but it's not like the end of the world. You know, if the government are doing or are doing what or do what they say they'll do and stuff, you know, it's about just getting through this time. And if that means I'll be more creative and spend some time doing more streams, you know, I'll have to make work to stream or something, but anything to keep things moving and progressing and learning. Like, to be honest, if I just found projects for nothing to work on, even if I didn't get any pay or anything like that, to stream just so we can obviously keep these interactions going and learning from each other, then it's only going to help help me get better and help us get better. So actually I'm swamped, lol. My studio is fully at home and I'm still grinding away. I do most of all my mixing here. Yeah, that's sick. Well, that's good for you, obviously. Oh, yeah, because you've got – yeah, you're working – are you working on a short still? Are you working on a short film at the moment? What what What's the – I know, like, the other – when we were talking to you, you were working on a short film, but uh, has – was that just – at the time you were doing the dialogue, now you've progressed it further forward? Can you give us any insight into what that – what it is? All right, we'll just get smashing on the next one. We gotta work out what this end bit is. I think that's just a closing, closing spiel that we gotta edit in. Oi, what happened there? Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. Revealing conversations with executives designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organizations. We look to help organizations live their purpose, strengthen connections, and deliver business impact. On this podcast today, we're joined by James Natsis, Apricot Consultant. Work still has me going in, which is good for money, but stressful in terms of transport, uh, exposure, and people, yeah. And even like, you know, you're young and fit, right, Josh? Like, at the end of the day, it's not even about you, right? Like, you know, you'll probably... Even if you got it, you'd probably be fine. But it's more like, you know, who of your family that you're gonna catch up with and stuff. Like, yeah, it's pretty pretty full on, eh? Well, I appreciate that. You know, you still wanted to finish off your project. I guess at the end of the day, I'm here in a studio on my own. I got full isolation anyway, so we can keep cracking on with this thing. So, mm. all right. Let's just quickly edit in this. Uh, let me check the email. Actually, you might give me a quick. Uh, uh, no pointers. So I'm assuming that's just going to be the end. Let's really just appreciate you coming on uh, today on our podcast. Um, so uh, and so, I just want to thank you, and I want to thank our listeners for joining. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you coming and speaking to us. And thank you to our listeners for joining us here on Inside Healthy Teams. 
That sounds like a mix of the two mics, unfortunately, but we're going to have to use it. Cool. We'll check that in. This is, uh, you're carrying the same anxiety as they are. Let them know about that. Really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you coming and speaking to us. And thank you to our listeners for joining us here on Inside Healthy Teams. Cool. So we'll bust that in. An honest, real conversation because the chances are you're carrying the same anxiety as they are. Let them know about that. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you coming and speaking to us. And thank you to our listeners for joining us here on Inside Healthy Teams. Thanks for listening to Inside. Cool. I'm just going to keep cracking along. Creep. Keep crack a lacking. I'm working on two shorts right now, but got sidetracked with a bunch of commercial work last week. This week we'll be more working on the shorts. One is a drama and one is a horror. Nice. Just going to do some quick clean up. Assumptions that there might be a bit of a response in there. Select a lot. Press F. Cafe is in there. Now we're going to listen. This topic is perhaps more relevant. We're going to turn off that spectral repair. In fact, I'm going to quickly bounce this one while I have that effect on. I just don't want to accidentally not have that on. So we're just going to bounce. I'm going to assume we're up to episode eight for that one. So we're going to bounce MP3 as well, and then we just whack that onto their WordPress. They've got a WordPress site uh, for their podcast, and I just do all that for them. Shan't take long. You guys got any ideas for sound alerts that I can put on there? Do I need fart noises and stuff? You guys got any ideas for um, streams as well? Is there anything like you think I should teach people or um, maybe hire a sound designer? <laughs> nah, that's a good joke, mate. No, seriously though. Um, I just need ideas and I'll do it. I'll get it cracking. Um I'm looking at you. Um, yeah, so sound ideas would be cool. But uh, yeah, stream ideas. Like even I was wondering like do, do some of you guys want to be interviewed? Should we do an interview series where I chat with some of the followers and stuff? Would you be interested in that? I think like make it podcast style. In fact, I could make a noisy post podcast from the chats. So we could do a occasional stream chat with someone different in the team because, you know, it sounds like we've got an amazing um, broad spectrum of, like, skills and experience and stuff. could be really cool to do, even if they're just sort of short convos. But obviously, you know, I can run and ask questions and stuff. But the whole point is, I guess, in the chat, you could ask questions as well. Um, maybe some of the guys who are doing some bigger stuff. Obviously, they've got, you know, people who have got NDAs and things signed. So we obviously need to be careful about what we talk about. but we could have some really great conversations and then I can put them up as a podcast as well as having them on Twitch. We can chuck them on YouTube as well. Uh, let me know if that's something you'd be keen on or if you've got any other thoughts, any ideas, either put it in the chat now or even better on the Discord. I think I've got a stream ideas on the Discord. So get on there and uh, let us know. Hydrate.
that's a great idea, especially considering most people are at home. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put the call out then. Uh, I've got to work out on OBS what's the best way to get us a picture in. Uh, I'm assuming like Skype or Zoom or something. Oh, this is bouncing. I'm going to check it out. Streaming multiple streamers' cameras from different locations. Ooh. Okay, okay. All right. So we could do Discord chats. Yeah, according to this, we could do a Discord. Oh, Weaver, sorry, got sidetracked. Just made the little RxD bleed tutorial for Discord. What do you mean sidetracked? That's not sidetracked. That's getting shit done. That's awesome, bro. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, is that gear and plugins you've put it in? Yeah, sick. In fact, maybe we should do it. I'm going to make a new channel right, right now. Excuse me. I've just made one in tutorials. Do you want to just uh, call tutorials? Do you want to just whack it over there? Um, so, yeah, I think that's let's have our own because that's a really good idea. Um, if anyone else is making videos or, you know, even if we cut snippets out of my clips or something and there's things we can chuck in there. No, no, that's a great place, Weavy. That's fine. Um, I'm, I've made one now, so uh, feel free to uh, – you can delete it or keep it in the other one, but maybe chuck it into um, – yeah, chuck it into the tutorial one now. It is good. It's all good. Um, so, Weaver, I was just asking whether you think it would be a good idea to do, like, uh, basically chats uh, with some of you guys so we can – I can schedule maybe one every couple of days or a few days. We could have like a half hour chat between me and a bunch of you guys that are on here. So, cause we could do chats through discord. Um, and you can, yeah, we'll do a chat through discord and then, uh, I can also make a podcast out of it or something as well. Um, which would be cool. What do you mean? Keen to check it out, mate. We'll get you in as one of the guests. But there's some guys on here that are doing some great stuff and have probably a lot more experience than I, or at least a work, you know, different experience that's helpful. So, ah, uh, she, yeah. So, look, it's, we need to hear from more people of different shapes and sizes and personalities. Um, so I might start doing that. Uh, I'll put a call out to the guys on the Discord. Um, I don't know why I'm not full screen for this silly rant, but I'll get onto that. Um, I'll work out what's the best way to do that as well on Discord. Sweet. And Weaver also let me know if you have any good ideas for sounds, for sound alerts. I should do one for the toilet flush or something, and that means hydrate. We've already used the toilet flush from the, this, the previous production, and I thought that was great. So maybe we could do a toilet flush, and it means we all take a swig of our drink. All right, so we've bounced that one out. Now we're going to bypass this. Oops. Nope. We don't want to do it all. There we go. So if you press Control Command, that's how you enact a make a plugin active or not. If you hold Option, it'll do the whole row. 
the toilet flush is pretty nice and it's got a story behind it as the film that I start that started it all. Yeah, sweet. All right, well, maybe I'll do that. Um, and then if anyone thinks about it, then they can flush the toilet and we all have to take a drink. And one night we'll do it on the beers and we'll see who's the last one standing. Salting.us. Welcome to Inside Healthy Teams from Apricot Consulting. Revealing conversations with executives designed to help leaders build healthy teams and organizations. We look to help organizations live their purpose, strengthen connections and deliver business impact. On this podcast today, we're joined by James Natsis, Apricot Consulting's uh, Chief Operating Officer. Today, we are talking about adopting a new operating model. And especially in light of COVID-19, this topic is perhaps more relevant than ever. Welcome, James. Welcome, James. Yes, James and James. So hopefully our listeners don't get too confused. We don't sound the same, do we? Yeah, great to be on the show. <laughs> so firstly, James. Um, they do sound know, a bit similar. What are you finding right now in the industry? Well, certainly COVID-19 is... At, at the very least, disrupting business models as we see them. And that's both a challenge and an opportunity. Uh, for, for most of the data out in industry, a lot of execs would actually say all, mm, all redesign is a key nice. priority for them. And sometimes you don't get a choice on when you get to do that. And this is one of those times. So organisational redesign is what is going on effectively. We're not just moving to remote ways of working. We're actually looking at operating models that underpin that in the first instance. Yeah, well, right. So I suppose where are you then focusing your efforts right now? Well, there are lots of organisations focusing on some of the strategic components, some on the, the, the workflow uh, and, and everything in between. And I guess what we focus on and a lot of our research over the years has been working primarily with leaders and teams themselves in the area of culture. In fact, we've designed a tool which we call the Culture Impact Index, which some of our listeners have probably heard on previous podcasts. And what a lot of organisations don't do is, uh, and we see this happening a lot, a lot of companies right now are moving to Zoom, they're working to, moving to Teams, they're working to go to meeting, WebEx, et cetera, to hope that they are still doing BAU activities the way they were. What many don't realise is that whatever you've done in an on-site in an on-site context will actually be magnified in a remote working model. So that's where culture plays a key part. Culture is the bit that underpins the success of that. Now, I don't believe that culture eats strategy for breakfast. Strategy is really, really critical in business, but it's two wings of the same plane. You need both a good culture and a strategy. More from the shops to witness the devastation and pick up right now, pick up a bike. To ensure back that the culture that the business if the zombies has don't has get me to a remote way of working, and inadvertently be safe, my friend. Redesign, I will miss you. Right culture. So that's the sweet spot that we're in, and we've got a tool that we've established that helps organisations make that transition effectively, so that they continue to keep the lights on and build their businesses in this really challenging time. Yeah, great. Well, I'm keen to hear about that tool. But before we get to that, what are, what are you seeing as some of the biggest challenges with adopting a new operating model? Wash your hands well, all the time. Well, it's really basic stuff. So many of our clients have worked in a traditional bricks and mortar environment where people go to work and they see that Sponsored by Glen 20. Wash your email. station regularly. They have a chat. They have a, a water cooler chat. They get in the lift. That was the easiest 20 bucks coffee, ever made. That's no longer becoming a reality right now. So aside from the obvious, and then on top of that, we're asking people to adopt new technologies yep. and use them very, very quickly and deliver the same kind of work that they delivered. Not very many people are familiar with how to do that well. Yeah. Uh, so ensuring the right change management program is is rolled out to deliver the Zach, would you be into that, would you be happy to be interviewed on my uh and aside from new that, show the obvious bits that are what we call under the iceberg which is 
if there are issues in communication while being off-site and on-site, sorry, many organisations would, would agree that their BAU you have some, communication some model stuff to talk about. Uh, either has too much communication on the wrong things, too many emails, etc. So you then take that communication challenge and you put that in a remote context, your communication is going to be even weaker than it was on an on-site model. So looking at your communication, trust, accountability, visibility, they're all the things that our culture impact index helps organisations uh, understand and then helping them design that moving forward. So, for example, if trust is an issue with your leadership team in a bricks and mortar model where people go to work in a building, then you magnify that three or four times at the very least once you move to a remote working model. So certainly looking at the soft and the hard factors, looking at process, looking at workflow, looking at the way decision-making is dispersed and done, uh, a sign-off on those, and then on top of that, the actual artifacts that you produce that may be assets, if you like, of what the business produces are really critical. And then on top of that, there are many organisations that have to do a hybrid model where they still turn up, there's still supply chains that need to move things be fine, mate. in and out of stock, but then they need it, They no longer can communicate in a room in a meeting. How I'll, uh, first that? I'll squeeze the information phone, out of But yeah. only being a metre and a half away or whatever that may be. So certainly we're seeing a ripple effect at every level of what it takes to be an operating model. Look, if you really yeah, okay. wouldn't be comfortable, uh, I didn't already, think you'd have yeah, anything so you good to say. Some of, the, um, some of the challenges there. So what I'd can business you. leaders be doing and perhaps, uh, you know, bring in that, uh, the tool that you've talked about, the cultural impact index tool. What can business leaders be doing right now to combat some of those challenges? Well, I think at the very least, communication, I know we've touched on this in previous podcasts, but sometimes we think we over-communicate, but this is a time Lip in smack. history where we've got to be very close to communication. This is not just an overhead anymore. Communication can be sometimes seen by executives as a nice to have if I had a bit more time I'd actually talk to people, but this is actually the time more, more than not that if you don't, it's going to impact on team morale, team culture, and overall outcomes in the business. So making sure we get on the front foot for communication, whether that's on the phone, whether it's on a video conference, if bandwidth permits, of course, uh, those things are becoming increasingly yeah, mate. Making sure I'll make your web famous. Right in emails is Internet clear famous. and concise. Your, your peers the will days be of like, oh, in an how'd email you get on that show? That show that that's so past. worldwide now famous. Now it's even more important nah, for a leader to be a much clearer in what they're communicating. I'm sure you'll be great. That communication. And if not... So, Getting on the front foot. You don't like I it. I think it's a really good time. Oh, I was going to say we don't air it, but Twitch is live. Right now, to actually use this as an opportunity, and I think this is a positive, to actually uh, undo some of the things that were probably I just, in, in I just ate a sticker. Hindrances. So if trust is an issue, now's the time to actually address that as a topic. If, a, if being authentic is an issue, now's the time to just discuss this as a, as a topic. If communication is an issue, now is a time for us to – actually get on the front foot, looking at a communication plan, building a communication plan. Now's the time to actually look at, do we have the right change capability within the team to manage our team into this new operating model? You're finding the now podcast the interesting? Ability is an issue to Not look really at people's capability, to look at what they're expected to deliver. When are they expected to deliver that? What does success look like? This is a really good aha reset moment to ensure that businesses stay s sustainable and they navigate these challenging waters moving forward. And I guess one final one is, uh, as you asked that question, is in the area of innovation. Well, they say that uh, necessary, necessity is the mother of all invention. Uh, Churchill himself said, don't waste the crisis. This is a really good opportunity for us well, to look Matt. at what can we lean out do we need to have a war room, a daily war room where we st we get together in a, on a virtual stand-up and we say, hey, what are we focusing on today? What can we change? What can we do differently? What's a process that we can improve? What can we cut out that's no longer relevant? Everyone is looking at cost right now. Innovation is a great opportunity to actually bring that forward, to test ideas, to implement them, to cut out the red tape, to move things out of the way that, no that need to be there, to flatten out leadership structures, to cut out bureaucracy, they're all really good opportunities for our leaders to jump on. And certainly our tool and our research is showing that, um, that those things have always stood as priorities, but now more than ever, having the right culture to enable those elements is going to be really, really critical. So, James, I, that that all sounds great. If I'm a business leader, that all sounds terrific. And, you know, in an ideal world, we'd love to be doing all of those things. I'm just trying to stay afloat right now. So, so I understand the why. Yes, we need to do that. 
stuff. But but how how am I going to do that? Is it more than just a comm strategy? Is it more than just what you were saying there? Tell me, what do we, what do I do? What do I do practically tomorrow to start to implement some of these things? Yeah, well, uh, there's a number of moving pieces here because we are in a time of chaos and when there's chaos, we're all doing things that are left-handed. We're all doing things that aren't necessarily familiar for us. So I think the person who wins in this season of life obviously has the right products and services for other companies that, that provide that value. But mixing in the fast to speed speed the fast speed of an organization which you have to be when you're chaotic is some slow thinking time so as a leader it's very important that one of the first disciplines that we do as a leader is spending some slow thinking time as we start each day and then really drill down on what are the two to three things that are going to move the needle in the business hydrate Building those disciplines and practices is no greater time right now because the other temptation is just to run around like a headless chook with the thought that if I'm running faster, automatically that then means I'm going to be more effective. So it's, we've got to slow our thinking down. Start of the day, end of the day are really good times for us as leaders to do that and try to distill down to one or two or three key focus areas and then make sure that the leaders are focused on that. If you're in a consulting firm, for example, then – Sales and delivery are the two key things. So everything else is sort of not insignificant, but they're things that enable those things to occur. So making sure that we can distill them back in a minute. If we're on a supply chain, what does success look like for our teams? What do we need to push out that day? Trying to simplify what success looks like for our team because our teams are anxious and they can't consume too much anyway. So I'd be looking at slowing our thinking down making sure that our teams know what success looks like in the, in, the new, in, the, in the world that we're in right now. That is a daily reality. It's not a weekly or monthly reality anymore. It will be in time once the dust settles in this new world, simplifying the message, simplifying the success measures about what they are and making sure people are clear on what they are and then working towards those. Okay. So uh, and under normal circumstances, moving the pendulum, moving the needle of change is incredibly difficult anyway. Uh, what can we be doing as leaders to impress upon our staff, to win them over, to, I suppose, bring them along the journey of, hey, we need to embrace this new operating model. We need to move quickly or we need to adapt. We need to we need to pivot, whatever it is. Uh, what can we do as, as leaders? And you, I know you've already touched on a couple of things, but maybe there's something else that we can pull out there. Well, certainly, James, and our research keeps showing through our – uh, cultural impact index to tool, the role of purpose and probably oh, more than ever purpose is being challenged because purpose historically was I go to I go to work to get a paycheck and then I go home and then so one of our other areas that we look at is engagement so engagement is a challenging thing especially when you move to a remote working model how do you build engagement because if we don't social distancing occurs and then people feel like they're not connecting so looking at cultivating ways to do that I think a daily standard up a war room scenario is a really good way to, to to help do that. It's short, it's pithy, it's 15 minutes. The other point is really around our why. There's a really good opportunity for companies to really distill their why statements. And sometimes the why statement is what's our why statement for our team? What's it? Not just the why statement. What is it? What is it? What, what is our why? And really simplifying that message down. You in the chat? The team to say hello. I'm just reviewing this podcast and it's the not the most exciting things. End up running I need around to hear things from you. That poss Our possibly things are less going. high leverage activities and more Any newbies, pop in and say so good day. The, the really clarifying the why with their team, really looking at the, the area of engagement. And then I think we can't say this enough. I know it sounds simplistic, but over-communicating, mm. getting on the front foot yep. with our teams to tell them, hey, um, we can't guarantee you jobs in the next – weeks and months we're doing our best to ensure that you do have your job but being up front and open about that there's, mm. there's no better time in history for, for leaders to be open and transparent this is not the time to put their hand in their face and say let me get back to you have an open and honest real conversation because the chances are you're carrying the same anxiety as they are let them know about that some really uh, great insights there from just cut you, that off James. too much so this is a bit honky i think uh, there was something going on. They re-recorded that bit. Let them know about that. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you coming and speaking to us. And thank you to our listeners for joining us here on...
let them know about that. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you coming and speaking to us. Let them know about that. Some really uh, great insights there from you, James. So we appreciate you having us here on Inside Healthy Teams. Thanks for listening to Inside Health. All good. That one's done. Just going to bounce that out. Episode nine, bouncing out an MP3. All good. That's done. So we've got to upload that onto their web press website, uh, which is not a process that you really care to see. Um, I'm just going to head off uh, and get that sorted. Uh, we'll see how we go. We might come back for another stream a bit later, but let me know if you have any ideas for streams, whether you write on YouTube, the YouTube channel, um, if you write to me on the Discord or even just in the chat here or send me an email at benningop. Uh, at noisypost.com.au. Uh, I'm going to probably do a, a, a series talking to different sound recorders, uh, sound editors, sound designers, re-recording mixers. Uh, just a, basically a bunch of you guys who have been on the stream so far and anyone new that comes, we might just start picking people and doing some decent interviews, uh, half hour, hour long interviews. Uh, I'll obviously have a list of questions, but the whole point will be it'll be interactive. So you'll be able to um, chime in with questions as well, which would be sweet. Uh, and I'll possibly even turn that into a podcast as well. So we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, look, guys, I really appreciate you coming and joining. Please hit the the heart button on Twitch to follow me. Uh, even better, subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, help support the channel um, on YouTube. Please subscribe on YouTube. Please like the clips and make comments. And most of all, just share. Share with your industry mates. Share with um, anyone who's into production or wants to learn new tricks. And most of all, keep safe. Stay at home. Um, yeah, I just want everyone to be uh, smart about it and look after yourself, look after uh, your fragile family members by not going and seeing them and not being silly and going places you shouldn't. Um, so keep safe and please join me. The whole point of being in isolation, well, is being isolated, but that's why we have internet and technology. We don't have to stay, uh, stay well, too isolated, I guess, in that situation. So, um yeah, thanks so much, guys, for being a part of it. It's been so good once again. It's all about the interaction for me. It makes it so good. Uh, Lunatic, hey, what's up? You are just catching the end. So this was another short one, but uh, we'll see how we go. I might even get on again before the end of the day, but um, that'll just depend what we've got to get sorted. But anyway, thank you so much for the chiming in, guys. And uh, please, next time you're on the chat, if you haven't yet, please say hello. Get involved. Uh, it's been lovely, guys. So, um, yeah, we'll talk to you.